welcome to Letty Does Power Rangers Ninja Steel. In the last episode, we got to meet the red, pink, and blue ranger. And the red ranger, Brody, has like a super tragic backstory where his dad sacrificed himself to save his brother and him. But I mean, he ended up being taken by game show hosting aliens. And his brother is just kind of doing his own thing. But he got back to Earth with his robot pal, Redbot, I think his name was. And now him and the blue and pink ranger are gonna go back to his old house to see if his brother still lives there because, you know, a little kid surviving on his own for 10 years totally makes sense. But yeah. And then the pink ranger has this really cool hoverboard nobody seems to notice and she loves trains because whatever and then the blue ranger is just a magician like all the freaking time so like no one's ever impressed by him he changed into another costume in like two seconds and no one said anything but yeah pretty much they all got their suits already and now they're all best friends and have decided to save the world together but we still haven't seen the zords yet so i am looking forward to that in this episode so yeah, Power Rangers Season 24, Episode 2, Forged in Steel. Let's get started. He's the greatest ninja? Really? <laughs> of all the humans? We'll just have to see who will be chosen next, but I think it's gonna be the people that they show first in the beginning of the episode. Dude, her dog's a freaking wolf! What the fuck? Okay. It's his truck that he named Nitro, and the girlfriend's the one driving? Oh, shit's falling from the sky. Why did she touch it? You don't know what that could be. That could be highly corrosive. Why is he touching it? <laughs> He just happened to perfectly kick him in the butt. Uh, sorry, Rick. We don't have intergalactic television here. We're a little behind. Okay, they're not very ugly. They're just big blue monsters. Okay, these guys we haven't even seen much of. <laughs> All their swords put together. Oh yeah, I wonder if they're going to explain that green zord that we saw in the preview. Why does the red one get to be the main person on the logo? I mean, give someone else a shot. <laughs> he just hid in the car and they're still willing to protect him. Um, is he creating sparks with the plastic noodle? This guy was watching the whole time, or what? <laughs> this guy totally has something against human teenagers. That's so ageist. Again, with the teenagers' hatred. Okay, dude, they're not even officially the Power Rangers yet. There's like three of them, and they haven't even like figured out exactly what it means to be a Power Ranger. You need to chill. Oh, she's so pretty for to be. <laughs> did this guy rip the sleeves off of his? Yeah, he did. And okay, cool. And this guy has a huge crush on him or something. It's like that. Music Awards show, the Nickelodeon hosts, right? They love throwing goop. Okay, dude, it's been 10 years. Aiden is not there anymore. I think Child Protective Services would have taken him when they noticed that he was living alone. So this guy sees what essentially is a meteorite fall out of the sky. He decides to chip off a layer for some reason and then use it to make Shiruken. <laughs> what? 
Okay, this girl has really good memory. And I think it says in the picture, Dane Romero. <laughs> I get it. A bug bug. <laughs> he looks like Scyther with, um, chainsaw arms. Why are these guys so inclined to helping Mick now? They barely know him. Everyone is so friendly here. They're just willing to risk their lives to help other people. Did this guy just shoot lasers out of his arm? Okay, why is her weapon always lamer than his? The first fight scene, he grabbed a metal pipe and she grabbed like a plastic noodle and now she has a racket and he has a bat? Come on, that's not fair. That's very grim. <laughs> and everyone's watching. Talk about Schadenfreude. Dude, he literally just fixed that. <sighs> Dickhead. Did that thing just come and save his life? <laughs> they still look like toys. <laughs> Finally someone recognizes him! I assume he does the magic shows like every day at school. How would no one recognize him yet? <laughs> this guy's trying again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they just materialized. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wild like a dog, nitro power like his truck. Oh man. Oh, they're gonna show the features of the toy now. What does it have? It's a bow. <laughs> and it can have a sword too. Claw mode? Oh, I see. There are so many toys that are gonna be coming out for this. Did they just kill him? Oh my god! He just died! Oh. Okay, he's not dead, I guess. Okay, he's not dead. It was just all flames. <laughs> this thing came back again. Oh, the Zords. I don't know what's happening, Blue Ranger. <laughs> it came out from inside of a building? <laughs> What's going on? And the dog was inside of a train? I don't get it. The Red Ranger's Zord runs funny. Yes, it does look like Red Bot. Whoa, Brody is holding on really well considering that his sword is doing backflips. And he just destroyed the sidewalk? What? Is the truck full of bombs? What is that? His sword just tripped. Are those turtles? Their, their blasters are turtles? Yes, they are, but why? Oh, now it doesn't fly away. What does that thing want? That was a very sad joke. Actually, now that I think about it, how is he getting along so well with modern society if he's pretty much spent his entire adult life on an alien ship? I'm confused. 
And now they're all friends on a mission to save the universe! This guy is really excited and glad to have his job. Okay, so this person took the gold power star? I don't know what they're gonna do with it, they're already wearing a mask, right? Anyway, that was the end of it, so I'm gonna stop the video now. Alright, so that just ended, and it looks like everyone is gathered except for whoever gets the golden star, but I'm sure we'll meet them later. It'll come into play another time. Plot, right? But <laughs> the swords are so weird and random. Um, we still didn't see the mega sword, so I kind of want to see that be put together, but a train, a dog, a truck, a dragon and red bot okay cool and they made their secret hideout inside of the school but would that really work i mean wouldn't there be a maintenance person to come to check i don't know i mean i'm just saying the other power rangers had more secretive of layers so yeah, i don't know but yeah, it's kind of interesting to see all of them together and the way they interact, but everyone is so keen to be a Power Ranger and work together to save the world. I guess. But yeah, so this was a good episode. It was kind of fun. There's going to be a lot of toys for this. So many toys for this that I will not be buying. I will not buy any more toys. I hope. Anyway, so, I'll see you in the next episode. I want to see more of this, so. But for now, that's all I got for you. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button right there. Or you can check out some more of my videos along here. I also have a Patreon set up that you can find by clicking that square button right there. See you later.